morning. Good morning. We were speaking about the peyot recently, and now we're going to move on to the beard. The Pashat Kedoshim, Sefer Vayikra, the Torah says in the end of Pasuk, do not destroy the corners of your beard. So now what does it mean destroy? It's different than by the peyot. The peyot, the Torah says, takifu. Do not round your peyot. Here it says the word ashkata, destroying. So therefore the Gemara Masechah Makot 21a tells us what kind of tool does destruction of the hair. The Gemara says it's a razor. So therefore from here it sounds like from the Gemara the only thing that's forbidden will be a razor. Unlike by peyot where we said according to some opinions, according to the Rosh, even scissors that cl- cl- give a close shave like a th- razor, the Rosh says it's also a sur. But from the Gemara in Masechah Makot it sounds like everyone would agree by a beard it will be only a sur with a razor but with scissors no matter how close it cuts will be mutar. However, there are some Rishonim who learn, for example, the Ritva. He says that even though from the Gemara, there's no problem with the scissors, but still you should not use the scissors. Why? Because it's going to lead to marit ayin. If a person uses a scissors or a machine that goes very close, it's going to look like he shaves with a razor. He got the same kind of shave, like as if a razor does with marit ayin. It looks wrong, and you're bringing suspicion upon yourself. Or you have the Tzemach Tzedek, or you have the Mkubalim who say that a person shouldn't touch his beard at all, Kabbalistically, or you have the Tzemach Tzedek who writes that it's Lo'il Bash, who says it's actually a womanly act to trim the beard, you should not touch the beard at all. We see very famously many, many sects of the Jewish people, they grow up beards and they don't touch their beard at all. However, the Kesef Mishnah explains, according to Rambam in the 12th chapter of Avodazara, the Kesef Mishnah says that Rambam holds that a person who uses scissors to cut, even very, very short, his beard, he did something 100% mutar. There's no issue whatsoever with the scissors, and that's what Shulchan Aruch writes also in Siman Kufpe Aleph. Shulchan Aruch writes over there that a person who shaves his beard using scissors is 100% mutar and did not do anything wrong, and the Torah only prohibits you shaving his beard with a razor. We're going to speak in the coming days exactly where the limits are the beard are, and what is, a, is the permissibility to use electric shavers? Do the shavers today have a status of a razor, or maybe they do not? Baruch Amen, man.